this is into the fire. I take great pleasure in welcoming to Into the Fire, the very exciting key forward, SA Draft Bolter, the guy who takes a big clunk and will be on a lot of AFL teams' radars, Lucas Cook. Nice to meet you, Lucas. Thanks for having me, LJ. Pleasure. Well, it's my pleasure to have you. So, what club did you play for growing up, and what and what did you do? Did you play any other sports? Um, yeah, I started playing soccer my first few years when I was little. Played for Fulham United, um, and then switched to footy under tens. Played for Lockleys Football Club. Um, played a few years there, and then a bit of school footy, and then out at Henley Sharks for a year, um, and now at the Eagles and school footy for Westminster. It sounds like you're a little busy when you're younger. Yeah. Now, Lucas, I hear you've become the new king of Westminster School, named by the recent king, Kane Baldwin. Yeah, that's right. Um, Kane gave me that sort of nickname, I guess, last year. It was a bit of a joke, and a few of the lads got around it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Now, you're a big guy. Where did you play as a young guy, and have you always been big for your age? Um. Yeah. Always throughout school, I was one of the tallest tallest in the class. Um, when I was little, I played more in the midfield um, and then sort of got taller, I guess, and more key position player, uh, key forward or key back and even in the ruck. Um, but there's still big boys these days, another um, few feet taller than me, so a few inches taller than me. So, um, yeah, I could be taller. I'd like to be a few centimetres taller, but um, still pretty tall, which is good. Trust me, I wish I was a bit taller. Uh, you get there. You get there. Maybe. Now, at 194 centimetres, you're a really nice size for a lead-up forward. Is this your favourite position? Yeah, I like playing centre forward leading up. Um, it's also good going down full forward where I can take a mark um, close to the goal square, um, convert there. But I like running and um, getting up the ground, providing a target. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You kicked 14 goals in the first four games of the under-18 season. Was it now that you thought I might be a chance here in my draft year? Because others certainly took notice. Yeah, I guess so. Because um, I didn't play under-18s last year, didn't really get a great chance to show off um, my skills and that. Um, had a few good games, um, really good team, Eagles. Um, really helpful with some good players in the midfield providing to me in the forward lines. Um, happened to kick a few goals in a few games, which is just lucky, but um, some games you get lucky, some games you don't. I so, know yeah. about luck. <laughs> Bit more skill. I see you kicked another three goals in the weekend with Jordan Lukic. Are you quite, you are quite the force up there, aren't you? Yeah, we've got a good forward line up at the Eagles. We've got me and Geordie, um, also Will Pierce, another good player. Then a few other smalls, Jay Watson, um, Adam DeLoya, Braden Cowlett. So we've got a few state boys from the under-17s and 19s in there. A lot of good players. So there's lots of targets. Some days who might kick a bag or spread it out, which is good. Yeah, it's a big forward line. Yeah. Yeah. It's really tough not to take notice of the draft media, especially when Kautumi puts you in his team of the year selection. How did you go with that stuff that's written? And are you able to stay clear of it or can you not help yourself and look at it? Um, yeah, um, with the draft team, the year, I didn't really know. Just a few of one of my mates just showed it to me. And I was surprised. I thought it was just a joke or something. Um, but no, it's obviously good to get recognised and obviously out of it now, which is just makes me more eager to perform well and get back into it. Um, it obviously doesn't mean much. It's just sort of a rough guide, but I don't mind looking at anything if I'm in it or not in it. Other players have a read. Um, it's just interesting, I guess, because it's sort of the reality of what's going to happen. And yeah. Yeah, it'd be very hard not to look at it. Yeah. Now, being a forward with a really nice set of hands, what areas of your game do you want scouts to know about you? And what are your best attributes? Um, for my height, definitely my running ability. Um, not so much fast, just um, long distance running. Um, also, yeah, my strong hands, like you said. So those two work um, together nicely, running and strong hands and pretty good kick, I think. Um, so, yeah, they're my weapons, I guess, my marking, running ability and kicking. Yeah. Yeah, if I was a scout, I'd be pretty happy with that. 
Now, everyone has things to work on. What areas of, do you need to improve on? Um, I've been working on my strength area in the off season, especially with a few injuries, being able to hit the gym. Um, also trying to get my left foot um, a bit better as well, similar to my right. So got that ability um, and some contested stuff, body work in, in tight, um, quick hands and sort of that stuff. So there's lots of areas to improve on. Um, yeah, focus on some strengths and keep working on my improvement areas, I guess. Yeah, there's always stuff to improve on. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah. You're, you're such a competitor and you've been monstering those poor under-18 kids. So cookie monster. You also played two reserve games and by all reports, did pretty well. How was that step up to the bigger bodies? Um, yeah, it was a good step up. Obviously playing different position, not the big target, um, sort of a little man under a few big boys. But um, no, I found it all right with the big bodies of the older boys. Um, the Eagles lads got around me, which was good. Um, it was good just to get a few games of seniors and get a taste of it. And then went back to 18s just to, I guess, get into some good form before um, the state champs come up. Yeah. Yeah, sounds interesting. Now, the SA boys look really good this year. When does that start? I bet you can't wait. Yeah, we're looking good. Um, I've had a few trainings this week and got an internal uh, this Friday and then the squad gets trimmed down um, and our first game is meant to be next Sunday, not this Sunday, the following Sunday against the Allies. But um, with COVID and that, not sure whether that will go ahead. And then there's a game against WA a few weeks later and then September against Victoria, Metro and Country as well. Yeah, fingers crossed COVID doesn't ruin those. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it'll be a good game. Okay, some quick questions. What AFL team do you barrack for? Uh, the Crows, yeah. Oh. Barrack for them ever since I was little. Um, actually, in the 2017 grand final, I ran out with them. I was like the mascot boy. Oh, really? Yeah against Richmond so that was a good experience just got a phone call and said you want to run out with them and I was like yeah so that was a good experience yeah, yeah. unlucky they didn't win on the day though yeah I know did you go to the game or oh, I didn't get to go to the game but no. yeah a bit sad but maybe next time yeah they've gone for a bit of a rough patch though so maybe not yeah a few years few years few years yeah. if you could have an AFL player around for drinks who would you invite? Um, oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Rory Sloan, I guess. Just good bloke all round. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a legend. If yeah. you yeah, if your footy was summed up by a superhero, who would you say? Uh, I've heard you ask this question to a few other blokes. Um, I'm sort of didn't really know what to say. I thought I'd go with Spider Man. Um, just a bit jumpy bit everywhere um yeah spider-man would have to be one of my favorites as well so yeah good pick. that's good yeah. if you have to switch to another sport what would it be um probably cricket i've played cricket um ever since i was young as well uh like since i was eight so i only stopped sort of playing that this year when footy got more seriously um so i guess cricket i played district for woodville and school cricket as well um, yeah, cricket, yeah. Yeah, cricket's pretty cool. If yeah. you had to go compete at the Olympics, what, what would you do best at? Oh, not much. I can't swim, so can't sprint. Um, I'd probably, I don't know, have to say go basketball, I guess, play basketball. Haven't really played basketball, but that's probably the only thing I can think of, really. Yeah, you're a big man, so you might, you might do yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you got, get to be on a TV show, what would you choose? Um, geez, that's a good one. TV show. Oh, don't really watch TV that much. Uh, I don't know. I reckon just, I don't know, hot seat. Answer a few questions with Eddie. Um, now, hot seat. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah. What food do you choose if you can have anything? Oh, I love my food. Um, probably some pasta, any type of pasta. Yeah. Um, probably good, good carbonara or 
something like that, yeah. Yeah, good spaghetti bolognese. It's always good. Yeah, yeah. Well, Lucas, you're a great prospect and I love my forwards. You see, a guy who can take a mark and go back and kick a goal is exactly what fans want. Now, when this happens on the big stage, you can't just stand there, Lucas. You need to have a celebration ready. Don't worry, I have one. And you can have practice before the big day. It's the end of the fire. Oh, yeah, you've been practicing that one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Well, Lucas, I can't thank you enough for chatting to me today. You're a big talent and there's a good reason why you're being talked about. Good luck in the next few months, mate. And I can't wait to hear you called out on draft night, buddy. Oh, thanks for having me, mate. Much appreciated. Mate, talk soon. Pleasure. Yeah, talk soon. It's been my pleasure to have you on the show.